Richard Long is a British land and conceptual artist who's um, really, in a way, considered the father of British land art. And uh, we're delighted to have this important, atypical piece in our collection. The challenge is always for us with uh, limited space are um, where do we put it, how do we fit it in with the rest of the sculptures and paintings in whatever gallery or space we're installing it. We had some challenges deciding, as you know, where the circle was going to go. Like initially it's supposed to be in the gallery. But as we began to lay out that room and fill it up with other sculptures, we determined that it just would be too much. So then we started going to plan B, plan C, and I think I'm, I kind of like where they're going now. I like that. actually probably prefer it to be on view. As a conceptual piece, one doesn't need the artist to recreate it. Every uh, piece that the artist makes comes with a certificate and the actual tangible earth materials. And then what one does is follow the uh, instructions given on the certificate and the work is recreated every time um, by a different group of people. What's so interesting, I think, is that one doesn't need the hand of the artist to have the authentic artwork as long as one has the certificate and follows the instructions. So after we get this circle, the chalk circle outlined, then we start filling them in and that's when we rely on our volunteers, uh, which is mostly staff here, but this, today we also have some esteemed guests from the art department, some art history students, some studio art students. It's really beautiful. I mean, the stone, the stone itself, I think, is really, really gorgeous. Marble, granite, whatever it is. And what's exciting is you'll see that each stone has its own uh, properties. Um, its own color, its own shape, and it really does vary uh, every time you install it depending on the kind of elements like chance because every time it's, it's put together it's different and it looks different and it's just very exciting to create. No matter what you do, as long as you follow the directions, you're not going to screw it up.